He used to imagination. Well, th that, uh, it's, it was my first album. It's also a piece of music called Keys to Imagination. And this is, that piece of music uh, set me free. You might say it started it all. It's when I found my artistic freedom for good. Um, I have had hints before. I've had inspirations before. You asked me about what inspired me. Here's one, a quick uh, little story. We were in Cologne, Germany. A long, long time ago, and they kept their museum open after hours, and they took us in, and they showed me a an entire. It was a, a an exhibition of Pablo Picasso, but it was huge, four or five hundred paintings, from the time he was born until he ended uh, his life ended. So I got to watch his drawings and his paintings and how he developed and what was happening in the middle life and what was happening towards the end and the beginning. And besides a lot of lessons that I've learned from that, even though I'm not a huge fan of Picasso, uh, I learned one thing. I learned artistic freedom. This man was free. He did whatever he wanted. And I took it to heart. When I was young enough, and it made a difference. So, um, because I, I started as an electronic musician, and back then everybody was sort of looking at electronics as being funny things. If it were not a violin, if it's not a violin, or a piano, or a trumpet, or it's not a real thing. Uh, what are you playing? You have to go back 40 years now, right? Fast forward 35 years later, and right now electronic music is cool. It's hip, it's in, it's, people like it. Um, I came from that era, so I have that inside me too. And so having the freedom uh, to experiment and have fun and not worry about what anybody thinks about what I did, uh, I think made me what I am today. Uh, keys to imagination, think about it. Creativity and imagination, we all have it. And it's the most powerful two forces that we have. Creativity is an inherent human quality of the highest order. Everybody has creativity. I'll give you a, a, a small example. Take a two-year-old, put him in a room with a jar of cookies that he cannot reach. Walk out of the room and watch creativity at work. <laughs> I rest my case. Imagination, I mean, what a powerful thing. Uh, they, they go hand in hand, you know. It, it, when you create something, it's so, so fulfilling because you're making something out of thin air, something that wouldn't exist unless it was you. You showed up and you made it out of nothing. And that applies to writers, uh, painters, mathematicians, uh, physicists. They don't plot, they don't go one plus one equals two, therefore three or A plus B and, and did you C and all of a sudden it's a quantum leap. The creative process is a spark. You find yourself knowing Q and you don't know how you got there. And then you spend an enormous amount of time um, trying to connect to your knowledge logically. Don't just accept the gift it's uh, anyway it's a, a great question we'll talk a little more about creativity and imagination later it's uh, it was written for keyboards actually it's electronics and it, has, it uses a particular sound that I started with sort of a guitarish kind of sound and uh, I played it once or twice on the piano. And I'm gonna play you the introduction to to the song. This is keys to imagination. <laughs> Good luck on the piano.